Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'll be doing a review of this, the Fizzin Compact 3 trekking pole. Now, I'd never heard of Fizzin up until about a year and a half ago. Uh, I came across these trekking poles. I've been up until getting these. I was using uh, these ones, which came with the snowshoes, which are a uh, pinch lock. And these ones, which is the Trekology uh, trekking poles. And these are like a three segment ones that uses a cable. So this company's been in business apparently since 1947. So they've been around for a while and they claim this is the world's lightest aluminum trekking pole at uh, 158 grams. So just to put that in perspective, both of these trekking poles weighs the same as this one Trekology trekking pole. For me, I'm an adventure filmmaker. I'm always bringing a tripod and I have to bring two poles for my uh, Dan Durston tent. So it just makes it so much better for me. It just, it just takes off the extra grams. And if you keep cutting grams in every corner, then suddenly, oh, you're actually carrying pounds and pounds less. These poles I've found have been fantastic. I've been using them all over Vancouver Island. I went to the Canadian Rockies and did a bunch of scree and scrambling, all sorts of stuff. You can see they are banged up. They've taken a beating. There's <laughs> they've definitely taken a beating, but that's um, one thing about these. No matter how much I seem to uh, bang them up, they're not cracking, they're not breaking, they're not flexing. I have bent one of my uh, Trekology poles in a horseshoe before because I fell into a tree well. I was holding onto the pole and just completely flexed it. I did have a similar experience with these. I fell uh, through an old tree that was down. It was like a logging cut. <sighs> and sometimes you step on those old trees and finally you break through, you fall down three or four feet. If you're holding onto your pole, you can potentially bend it in half. And I had one of those situations and this thing, I could tell it, it was like, it wanted to flex, but it didn't. So I'm really impressed with these. They're really strong. Despite that, they only weigh 158 grams, which is 5.6 ounces for my American friends. These have a functional range of 22.8 inches up to 52 inches. So it's pretty standard. The only main difference here with between this one and say that Trekology one is the grip size. These use a, like a foam grip. Uh, it's comfortable. It feels like a normal grip. Uh, the difference though, sometimes the trekking poles have a cork grip. This one actually has like a a hybrid. Now I'm missing the top piece completely broke off. So this one is obviously retired because this would not be comfortable, but uh, some people like the cork grip. There's pros and cons here, but this one has the double grip, right? You can use two hands on it. So if you really need to push hard on something, but this also weighs more. So I mean, this weighs double. So this has a standard wrist strap. It's been shredded through all the bushwhacking I did, but it's yeah, it's just kind of frayed a little bit. There's no actual cuts or whatever, so it's a strong material. So how these work is you rotate them counterclockwise to loosen them. You can move them in and out. You can see I've got a bunch of sand and dirt and dust uh, that gets in there. And then when you want to tighten it, you just rotate this section clockwise and now it doesn't move. And same thing here, you've got another piece counterclockwise and you adjust the length, same thing clockwise and that tightens it right up like that. So now one thing to note, if you do get sand and dirt and dust on here and you, and it slides in, it'll get jammed. I only had this happen once, but I did find a solution that works perfect. And all you need is a rubber mallet and you can smack it. You can get those at the dollar store. And when you vibrate it like that, it kind of shakes all the sand and stuff out. And then it allows you to open this back up. Uh, same goes for a pinch lock too, because it's just sliding as well. This is going to be the same problem. The main difference between the pinch lock and the twist lock, this has all this stuff that sticks out. And if it's on your bag and you're bushwhacking, I do a lot of bushwhacking, this stuff can get caught on branches and stuff grabbing it, where this, you know, there's nothing. It's just a straight pull. So the only thing you get caught on is the mud bucket here. Now this does come with multiple different pieces. I don't use the other ones. There's one that the, the star thing uh, with for snow, which has holes in it, the mud bucket. And then there's also like a rubber like a walking tip for kind of walking around town or whatever. I just stick to these ones. They're enough to, you know, if you do slip into some mud, but one thing to note is these don't actually come off. They're, it's really well designed because on both of these trekking poles and another one I used to have, uh, the, the end pieces always came off. Like this one has one where you screw it on and it just popped off. This one, the other one, it just broke off. So I find uh, usually these pieces are pretty crappy, but these guys have done a good job with these ones. They're both on there. They're both still good. Um, as for the tip and stuff, you know, it's the same, it's typical trekking pole. It'll eventually wear down. It's functional, it works as a trekking pole. It jams in the ground, it's good to go. So in my overall review of these is I love these poles. They're my favorite poles. I'll be using these going forward uh, until some other poles somehow make their way into my life. But uh, yeah, I love these poles. They're lightweight, they, they get the job done. That's the main thing here. And this company doesn't know who I am. This is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. 
Uh, these cost me about 105 bucks. Uh, sometimes I've seen them go up to 150, so it just kind of depends. So they're typically around 105, that's 70 bucks US for my American friends. So if you kind of get them around that price, I think that's kind of the best deal they're they're on for, which is about two thirds or so of like say black diamond ones that are more expensive out there. So it's a, these are a good deal and they're great poles. That does it for this review of the Fizzin Compact 3 trekking pole. So if you guys want to check these out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel if you're looking for some more hiking, backpacking, uh, adventure videos. And I'll see you on the next one.